What you doing? Trying to finish up this shipping before Monday. Speaking of Monday, so you know how Monday we're supposed to be going to the Army Corps of Engineers Park? Yes. Change of plans. What? I canceled it. And we are going to Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Oh, we're still camping. Yeah, but we're going tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. I haven't even packed. Well, get packing because we're leaving in less than 12 hours. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we're going camping. We forgot to tape an intro, though. Yeah, we actually already went camping, so we decided we need to give you guys an intro. So here's the intro to the video that we're going to start playing right now. While we're all packed up, got the kayak up there, bicycles on there, trailers all hooked up, lights are ready to go. I just need to take a shower. What do you think is going to happen when the boys figure out that I've raided the ice bin and I'm leaving them with absolutely no ice? I think they're going to head to the store and get ice. Are you ready? Because I have been waiting for you forever. Bologna sandwich. Are you ready? I am so ready. I still don't think that we've mastered the art of packing yet. We'll get better. Definitely not. All I know is I threw all of my stuff in a bag in 30 seconds. Now there's probably 20 pillows back there. We are pillow fiends. I don't know, how many pillows do you need to sleep with? Joe needs to have at least a stack of six pancake pillows. Like, I mean, just have one regular pillow, but he wants a lot of little flat pillows. I need like two pillows under my head, mm -hmm. but I need a holding pillow. That's very important. Let us know down in the comment section How who's many? got a holding pillow. Ra Rachel doesn't have a holding pillow. Under she leg has pillow. An under leg pillow. And I have to have a special, like my pillow for my head or I can't sleep. I will say this we did pretty good. It's 12 30. We're getting out of here about a half hour after I wanted to, but considering. Uh, I sprung on you that we are leaving three days early. Last night. Last night. I'm pretty impressed. You did pretty good. Well, we got here about an hour, but it took about an hour, hour and five minutes to get here. And we know nobody slept here last night, so even though it's not technically time for us to check in, we're checking in a little bit. They let early. us check in. And it's funny because every one of the state parks is different. So here they wanted like all of your vehicle information. They wanted my license plate number. Blood sample. The last one, they're like, yep, go yeah, ahead. You welcome. Know? And as a matter of fact, when we stayed at the other park, they let the people that were going to be staying on the site we were moving off of in before our checkout time. And they were kind of like pushing us off. Whereas here the lady's like, well, the only reason I'm letting you in is because there was nobody on your site last night. Yeah. So we are Hope Sound, right? Hope Sound. Hope Sound. And it's really cool. So we're like right, the ocean is like right, right there. there. That's the ocean. So this is going to be a little bit different camping we were last week, we were springs. in the springs. Now we're off of the Loxahatchee River. So we're gonna go set up our site and then explore a little bit. So we're pretty much set up. We got the pop-up up, we've got our screen house up, our coolers are all set. Now it's the little Rachel touchers that need to be added, like put the sheets on, things like that. In the meantime, I am Florida camping. Soaking wet. Soaking wet. It looks like I peed my pants. Look at that. He did not. Just for I the record. I did not. It, that's just sweat. But it's Florida camping in like September. Uh, but some lady was just walking around with her kids and she's like, do you know how to put up a tent? I've been trying for three hours. So while Rachel's doing her little like, you know, feminine pretty touches that make life enjoyable while we're camping, I'm going to go help her put up a tent. It's actually nice now. It's almost like God just turned the faucet off and we're no longer sweating. Well, where we're at, I mean, where we set our chairs up and stuff, we get like the, and it's 530, but we're getting like the afternoon. The sun is over there. So the pop-up is actually blocking a lot of the sun. Thank you, pop-up. 
So I finished helping that family set up their tent, and I'm so glad I did. Four little kids. Under the age of six. Wow. So I remember when we started camping, you know, with the kids, They, the youngest was seven. And there was only three of them. And it was the winter time. It wasn't like, you know, 98 degrees outside. But I am so excited to see families getting out and just trying. So like, you know, we feel good being useful even though we're old. Right. So I'm I'm so thankful for them well, being out. Well, this was their first time camping. They borrowed a tent from a friend. It had a broken tent pole. They're missing all of the tent stakes. <laughs> so I brought over like some rod that we found at our last campsite. It was like garbage and happened to still be in the bed of the truck. So I like, I strapped it up to their broken tent pole with Velcro so that at least it had like some kind of tension on it. And then we gave them all of our plastic tent stakes because we don't use those anyway. We have like metal yeah. stakes that we use. But already the lady's like, we're never doing this again. I'm like, don't give don't up stop. on it. Please don't give up on it's it. So Your important. kids are going to enjoy this. They're making memories. You know, it, the You'll first time stands. If we quit camping as a family the first time, oh my gosh, we'd, we wouldn't own this pop-up and we wouldn't be looking for like any kind of travel trailer either. No. So it's about 5.30. We're going to go for a bike ride. Let's We're not going to bring the camera though. We'll bring the camera after we kind of see what there is here. Okay, it's kind of dark outside because there's like obviously no street lamps. We're camping. Yeah, we're camping. So it's dinner time. I don't even know what time it is. It is 10 after 8. Don't you love the fact that we don't know what time it is? Right. So we pretty much went all day. I mean, I had a bang and I think I had a piece of cheese. That's what I ate today. I had my coffee on the road. So this is really our first meal. You have a cheeseburger with cheese that I got at BJ's. I don't know. It's like a buffalo cheese. It looks fun. A half a hot dog. That's a Costco hot dog. So it's a half a hot dog. We have a bunch of these grilled shrimp. We have a thick New York strip steak. A half of it. We're sharing one. And then this is corned beef with some sauerkraut covered in Swiss cheese. Oh, yum. This was absolutely worth the drive and setup. Just an hour away from us. This is incredible. Are you glad that I canceled the other campground and got this one instead? Yes, I am. So we are here. This is the Loxahatchee River. And it's kind of interesting the fact that you have this and then just a mile behind us is the ocean. So it's awesome. And there's alligators in here. There's lots of fishing. There's turtles. So we're gonna, tomorrow we're going to be going kayaking on this river. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Are we going kayaking or bike riding? You just like stood at attention. That was so funny. Sorry. Um, I think kayaking because I don't want to do the kayaking at night necessarily. There are alligators and water moccasins in this water system. I do have a challenge for you when we do our bike ride. Okay. I would like to go to the Hobe Sound. Do it Sound. naked. No. Well, that don't would be that. really awesome. No, don't do that. Don't I would like letters. to go to the Hobe Sound Observation Tower. That's like way the heck away. I did drive it in the car. How many miles? It's about five miles over there. But then we have to go back. So that's 10 miles. At least. Possibly more. 
But the view. I feel like we need to bike ride that. I don't think you, I don't think we can drive our car over there. That that's got to be the challenge for the weekend before the weekend's over. And by the way, some of it's uphill. Can you do this? I mean, I'm I'm in. I'll try. I mean, you may have to go back to camp and get the truck and come get me, but like I will attempt it. So something interesting about us camping, we eat a wide variety of food compared to when we're at home. So this is lunch on Sunday. This is some chicken breast tenderloins, green peppers with onions, some grilled shrimp, queso cheese fried up, and then a couple of slices of salami. Everything was cooked on the Blackstone at the same time, and we used our taco seasoning for uh, covering all the chicken and the shrimp. So the link for the taco seasoning is down below. And of course, it wouldn't be a camping vacation, especially when it's raining without having some keto ice cream topped with cereal school. So we're having the butter pecan enlightened ice cream and we split one bag of the cookies and cream cereal school. It makes such an awesome ice cream topper. So you see this little cut through here? Doesn't look like a kayak's gonna fit through there, does it? Well, we forced our kayak through. Why? So that we could avoid paddling all the way around the bend. Completely cooked on the Blackstone. This is three eggs. They're the handsome pasture-raised eggs. They're handsome eggs? Handsome eggs. Uh, oh, with pastrami. So it's like pastrami and eggs, pancake style, topped with like a combination of Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese. Wow. We're going to go on a very long bike ride. We had to fuel up. That's there, how long. There is a challenge. You cannot even see it from here. It's at least five miles. At least. But And then I think that you have to walk through a bunch of sand. So I did bring our um, lock so that we can lock our bicycle somewhere. And there's a giant tower. It's called the, what is it? The Hobe Observation Tower, where you can oversee the Atlantic Ocean and the entire park and everything. That's so fun. So we're going to attempt to ride our bicycles there. Attempt. Attempt, because this is a long, long ride, and then whatever it is, we have to ride, ride it back. back. And hopefully the weather is going to like cooperate with us, because it looks like it's gonna start to rain, but you know what? Rachel's wearing a bathing suit. I'm probably gonna take off my shirt, and we're just going to enjoy the fact that we have enough energy to even attempt this. We're in the process of going up a giant hill and I'm looking, it keeps going up. All my legs are burning. So we're at the base of Hobe Mountain Tower and it says this 10 minute walk up to the top of the Hobe Mountain Observation Tower will give you a view of the Atlantic Ocean, the Intracoastal Waterway and the entire expanse of the park. As you walk through the sand pine scrub, notice the changes in terrain and elevation. This quote unquote mountain is the highest natural point south of Lake Okeechobee, rising 86 feet above sea level on ancient sand dunes. Unless you have a drone or go up in an airplane, you never- or you're on the dump. Or you're on the dump. You never get to overlook this much of South Florida at one time from a natural elevation, like unless you're on a building or something like that. Dude, I'm going to have to take a shower to dry off. I am sweat so much. We did it. It is 100 degrees outside. 12.14 miles. There was a part of me that when we were getting back to the campground, I'm like, we have to keep going till we hit 15. No. But I didn't know where else we'd go. Well, I'm, I'm happy with what we've done. 12.14 miles. We did it an hour and a half, and that's with us stopping and stuff yeah. like that. So it says we averaged eight miles an hour. Uh, I don't even know where the... It doesn't tell me how many calories we burned. We burned a lot. 520 calories according to the Map My Ride app. But that was some good exercise. It was nice. It was just nice to feel accomplished like we could do it. I know that I could not have done this three years ago. There's just no way. No. I mean, I'm sweating. My calves are burning. My because, thighs are on fire. Especially like the last three miles, like you were pedaling. I got into some really good music and man, tunes make all the difference for me. So the cool thing is it's not even 12 o'clock yet. We're probably not going to use that screen house behind us. So I think we're going to take it down before we take a shower just so While that it's dry. it's dry. This way, if it rains this afternoon or the morning dew, we don't have to worry about that. And, uh, and then we can just pack up everything in the morning. Dinner time. Everything cooked on the 17 inch Blackstone. We've got some New York strip steak cut up thin, some grilled chicken breast, shrimp, 
some queso cheese that's been fried up, peppers and onions, and everything is on top of a bed of cauliflower rice. And then it's seasoned with Redmond Real Salt as well as our taco seasoning. Link for that's down below. You started without me. I did. It's so stinking good, though. Well, then you don't get the best part. The cheese. We've got some fried cheese that is uh, Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese. The shredded stuff, and we just put it on the Blackstone and make it nice and crispy. It's dessert time. We're going to have some cookies and cream rebel ice cream topped with a little bit of peanut butter keto brick. You're wearing my hat. Can I use your hat? That's my hat. Yeah, but my my ball cap is dirty. Well, it is 1130 on Tuesday. Nothing feels better than the leaving shower. Yeah, so we packed everything up. Um, we had a bunch of rain last night. So, of course everything got wet so wet. we tried to let stuff dry out as much as possible and then we packed everything up and now we're gonna head home and we're coming back up in two weeks but we're gonna try the other side not the river campground but the 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 campground that's right as soon as you come in yeah so that's gonna be this weekend's camping trip slash vlog now if you like seeing videos like this and want to see like full day of eating videos check out the complete playlist which you're gonna find right down there also make sure you take a look at our most recent video which you're gonna find right over there but whether you check out this or you check out that don't forget to do this subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon that way every single time we go camping you'll be alerted to it until next time bye, bye. Huh? I like this? Or is it recording? Okay.